If the President vanishes, we'll have a long, slow slog ahead of us. Jedi, I need you to get him out of the factory. I'm going with you. Darth Lacris has lived too long. The deal was for you to get us the Nebula shipment, Tyrak. You go with the Captain and get those prototypes to Palliser Station, or all bets are off. The Balmoran Arms Factory is the Empire's biggest stronghold. Assaulting this base was one thing, but taking on that fortress... Need a shortcut through that Rancor's den? Well, I'm your man. Welcome to the team, Doc. I'll try not to get you killed. Stay quiet. It's a bad place to be hanging around. Activity spiked inside. Security changes. Transport arrangements. Guess Darth Lacris is about to move the President. Can you keep track of him? No. We get him now, or not at all. Passwords are all being changed. You'll need me to get to her. I never get between a man and his obsession. See you at the ship. Let's go, Jedi. Hmm. Not very subtle. Let me. <laughs> President should be close by. Let's go. More meddling in my affairs. This is beyond tiresome, Zenith. I decreed the Balmora would not become a forced labor world, and my reward? Your insolent little rebellion. Now this resistance government. You've given him delusions of grandeur, Jedi. But Balmora is mine. The people are with us. The corporations, too. Your occupation is over. Ah, so you want President Galtha. Useless as ever. Though a tad more decorative now. Even thought he can't help you. Your government is doomed. How sad. This movement is larger than a single person. We're hidden across Balmora. Thousands waiting in secret. Then I shall cull the citizens of Balmora. I'm not without mercy. I'll grant you a swift death, rather than make you witness your plans tumbling down. to outlive someone. One death's too good for her. Troubling, though. What she said before about the President sounded too... honest. I sensed no deceit when she spoke. I can get President Galtha back to the safe house, start his thaw. Meet me there. And be quick. Something's not right. Ty's gone to meet his citizens' committee, coming to witness their new president's inauguration. Hooray for the resistance. Darth Lacris got the last laugh. Meet our noble president. Lonely. Gone. All. Who? Uh, no more. No more. Don't be afraid. 
I'm a Jedi Master. You're safe with us. Stars. All round. Blind. No, too many. Imperial torture shattered him. He can't hand over power. Lacris knew. No. The Empire can't win. We must fix this. I know a technique that helps people driven mad by darkness. Then try it. Can't be. Can't be. Go away. Fear this. He's broken, not corrupted. Hmm. Corporations donated medical technology. There's a spinal implant. Hacks into the brain and muscle functions. He'd speak properly, sign his name. Experimental tech, though. Wouldn't last long, and it might kill him. A tie will be in power, and I doubt the president would want to live like this. I don't want Ty to become president because of a trick. If Balmorans see President Galtha like this, after all we've suffered, they'll crack. Ty's presidency will fail. The end. Ty escaped Imperial assassination for years. Ty himself proves there's hope. If you're wrong, we lose everything. I hope you can handle that. We heard about Darth Lacris. Citizens are already rising up in Sobrick. The occupation is ending. Sir, it's marvelous to see you again. My exile was too long. Empty. All. Now. Go. Gone. Ugh. Sir, it's Ty, your trade secretary. What's wrong with him? His time as Darth Lacris's prisoner has left him little more than a shell. No, this can't be. He's... he's our leader. Imperial atrocities. This is why we must never stop fighting against the Empire. President Galthay is incapacitated. As senior official, Ty, you inherit his office. I didn't want it to happen like this. Ty Corden, we as fellow citizens of Balmora bear witness to your ascension to the office of President. I pledge to carry out my duties with honesty, integrity, and compassion for Balmora. This will be a difficult time. Set an example for your people. Guide them well. As my first act, I've drafted a formal request for Balmora to join the Republic. Is there anything you'd like to say on this historic occasion, Master Jedi? You all stand on the threshold of a new beginning. For Balmora, and for the Republic that waits to embrace you. And I hope the Jedi Order will always be a part of that future. I have a few points of business to finish aboard your ship before I leave, Jedi. There's a matter we three need to discuss in private. Zenith, perhaps you should join us there. Turbo lift's locked down, but don't worry. Slicing Imperial security codes is a hobby of mine. Give me two secs. Uh-oh. Someone's coming down the turbo lift. Get ready for a fight. Ah! I thought the imps had killed you. You too, Remy? How you making out, old fella? Same as always. Pretend to cooperate with the Imperials and stab them in the back every chance I get. We're here to defeat the Empire. Can you get us into the upper levels? Sure. The imps put me on waste management. Gave me a data card to get in there. It's all yours. Thing is, there's guards every two meters in there. That's why I travel with the Jedi, Remy. Aren't you afraid the Imperials will blame you for this? I have no plans to find out. 
Not after you opened me a nice, sweet path to freedom. Good luck. Hello. Are you there? It's Colonel Finley. We have a new problem. The Resistance has learned of Imperial research into weapons that use cloaking device technology. If the enemy can hide their missiles and bombs from detection, imagine the carnage. The Empire would rip us apart. You must recover all the Empire's research data on this project and deliver it to us. There's bound to be a computer hub up there somewhere. This may be our only opportunity. Do everything you can. Finley out. the files about the Empire's stealth weapon research, but something's wrong. They're starting to erase themselves. I use TurboLift data cards all the time when I was here. They work with computers, too. Maybe we can transfer the files onto the data card Remy gave us. Copy them before they get deleted. And what do you know? It worked. Not bad, huh? That was fast thinking. Well done. Fast thinking is my middle name. <laughs> You suppose the Empire knows we're here? Far enough. We're almost done here. Nicolin, what are you doing? The cloaking device prototype belongs to the people of Balmora, not the Republic. This is our world, our war, and our victory. You had a shortcut into this place and you didn't tell us? We stole this Imperial transport during the raid on Sobrik. Security here was too busy fighting you to double check our identification. We spent decades fighting for this planet after the Republic rolled over for the Empire. Now you're back to loot our resources? This prototype may be the most valuable technology on Balmora. You're not taking it. Aren't the Jedi all about justice? If that's true, let us leave with what's rightfully ours. The Jedi will return this technology once we're done with it. Please hand it over. The Jedi will return this once they're done with it. Hand it over, Avers. I'd offer you transportation, but I'm afraid the shuttle only seats two. Good luck. Smooth talking. One thing's for sure. I'm not working for the Resistance anymore. Got a spare bunk on your ship for a superb combat medic? My mission is dangerous. You sure you want to get involved? Danger doesn't scare me. And involved is my middle name. One, I have the cloaking device prototype. After the blood that's been spilled today, that's a ray of hope. I'm returning to the Republic base where you first landed. Meet me there. You. You're the one who assassinated Darth Lacris, aren't you? I'm Resistance. Came for help. Funny that I run into you. You have no idea what you've stirred up. The Empire's not taking defeat lying down, and we're the ones in the firing line. We removed Darth Lacris to stop the Balmoran people's suffering. Nobody's shedding tears for that tyrant, but if you don't help us, it'll have been for nothing. The Empire's attacking Moraine territory. That's where the Resistance started, mostly villages and factories. Moraine territory is also where we hid our families. But now the Imps have found them. Hundreds. Hundreds are already dead. I will stand between your families and the Imperial forces. 
This whole area is a war zone, but you should have a clear path to Moraine Outpost. It's our oldest staging ground. When you get there, talk to Wix. If she's still alive, she'll be fighting. Good luck. Hasta mi chakol kuka tu magi, ta ushagwa upa. Te bisa kuka pe me wata. Chupichuta, kaso yeli joy rato kabachuta. It's accepted that the Empire will attack military targets, but this? Una wawunda ya pawa kuka torondi. Nira disa slimo crispa to danki kung kai kupa. Sounds like the Imperial forces would scatter without him. He should be our target. Nira disa slimo crispa to danki kung kai kupa. Te bisa kakuka pe me wata. If Lord Tharsis isn't stopped, these people won't be safe no matter what happens. Una wawunda ya pawa kulka torondi. Anine joka, nuchawa. Ki chacha una chichi tua. Tu patula musta, wo grangi tampio dume tunka. Consider it done. Chupaka tupa pupande baka. Umpa hupa. Chikilia un pasa do bisca. Chobut i kafs tuan dile ji hulo kuta. Wanta humpa, muri rava fupa ji bampa wula. I know things are tough, but you can't give up. Buka kampak nijit, tonka yiliska chanaga. Kupa tonti toki maki chisa chubolo wawuni. Toga wata kiko uba kili wata buki donko. Chonki faguta chiho poda ji oto vokise. Fighting the Mandalorians isn't like fighting the Imperials. Chi liska ta. Piti do tenya go kaka jujo. Da biska ku paliya. Chaskruni do pat kurira do kanki kung. It's better than dealing with this guilt trip. Oh, Granny Tampio da Pushi Wumpa. Poo to la Musta. Pampa Wula ji Ota Kakoga Huta Nupisto. There must be a weakness. That's quite enough of that. Holiday, were you watching? Wana wanga blasto chi. Piti do tenya go kaka jujo. 
Dabiska Ku Paliya. I sense you hold resentment for the Republic in your heart. Let it go. Chobut e Kafstuan Dile Jihulo Kuta. Patoga Wata Kiko Uba Kiriwata Buki Donko. I have the cloaking device prototype and the Empire's weapon research data. We've denied the enemy a considerable technological edge and broken its hold on Balmora. I'll send the research data to Coruscant. There's a Dr. Godera waiting to review it. Friend of yours, I understand. Please give the doctor my regards. I will. It's been a pleasure working with you. Somehow I expected such an important device to be more impressive. I'll deliver this to Master Braga and the Council on Tython. Master Braga's faith in you is well placed. I'm honored to serve with you. The feeling is mutual. Be well, my friend. You should contact Master Braga when you return to your ship. He's eager to hear from you. Farewell. Master Braga, the mission to Balmora was a success. We have the cloaking device prototype. Outstanding. I never doubted you for a moment. How did you find working with my old friend Warren? I've always been impressed by his keen insights. His intuition was critical. I couldn't have found the objective without him. You've brought us a great leap closer to finding the Emperor. But there's a new problem. I've lost contact with my Padawan under unusual and dangerous circumstances. You're uniquely qualified to deal with this. I'll do everything I can, Master. Tell me the situation. Sajar is no ordinary Padawan. He was once a Sith Lord, a member of the Empire's Dark Council. We dueled on Dantooine. Fought for three days. I won when I convinced him to abandon the Dark Side and train as a Jedi. You turned a Dark Council member to the Jedi? Incredible. Your own victories are no less impressive. Bengal Moore and former Lord Craven now serve the light side because of you. Sajar has fully embraced the Jedi way. Whatever has happened, it isn't his fault. He was guarding a Republic base on the planet Quesh when the Empire invaded and attacked our territories. The Empire wouldn't commit its forces if Quesh wasn't worth the effort. It's the largest adrenal production center in the galaxy. They're a major military commodity, especially now that war has broken out again. I just spoke with a soldier at Sajar's base. It's surrounded by Imperial forces and my Padawan refuses to act. Without Jedi help, that base will fall. My Padawan won't answer his holo. Sounds like he's afraid of something, but what? Only a strong Jedi can help Sajar and save the base. I'm transmitting the planet's coordinates now. Master Braga, out. Go. He needs you. And you need him. You haven't led me astray yet, Master Orgus. Uh... You alright? The hollow transmission's over. It's a Jedi thing. None of your business. This sounds urgent. We should go to Quesh right away. Looks like old Doc got here just in time. How have you survived with a droid and Little Miss Uptight as your only friends? This is no party, Doc. We're on an important mission. We can save the galaxy and still have a good time, right? Leave everything to me. Before I settle in, a few things. First, I like my quarters kept at least five degrees warmer than the rest of the ship. I only eat energy pudding, so stock up on that. Uh, also, give me 30 minutes in the refresher every morning. That's all. Are you sure there isn't more? I could have T7 clean your laundry or read you bedtime stories. Laundry service? Done. And have the girl turn down my bed every night. Never seen a ship's med bay right next to the engine compartment before. Not exactly convenient. I've done better with worse. Until I have everything online, stay in one piece. Doctor's orders. You're here? I thought you'd abandoned me. 
those incompetent soldiers you left me with are all dead. I suggested a shortcut past Imperial Barracks, and they had the gall to blame me. Me, when they went and got themselves killed, leaving me undefended. You really think they died just to inconvenience you? Well, they certainly didn't fight like they understood the stakes. I'm a wanted man. Your precious nebula shipment is down that way. I'll, uh, wait here while you do whatever you're doing with it. This has been harrowing enough already. I mean, I've ordered plenty of deaths, but I've never had to watch. If all Imperial Moths are like you, it's a wonder you can get your armor on in the morning, much less conquer an empire. My commanding officer used to say I was unique in all his years of command. Oh, right. The passcodes. It's, um, 8693211. Oh, and before you go, do you think you can bring me some water? I'm parched. Uh, maybe a blaster, just in case. If you bring the Imperial Guards down on us, I'm feeding you to them. You won't be leaving me any snacks, then. I can't believe you wouldn't let me keep my Arcadian diamond goggles. Those were made for field missions. This servant's outfit clashes with my eyes. Port nowhere. I bet Rogue and the Butchers never swiped a hole that big. Men, always comparing the size of their halls. Is this the one? Yes. Uh, no. Uh, he's a captain in Unit A-16. He'll be part of the fleet escort. Surrender. You are in violation of the laws of the Sith Empire. I'm sure we can find some wiggle room in those laws, right? The laws of the Empire are inviolate. This isn't my fault. I was being helpful. I was scouting for guards. Well, it seems you found them. Silence! Men, kill them! Thank me later. Keep doing that. I have saved your life. In return, I demand you turn over Moff Tyrek. I have hunted this man for five years. Ever since his command saw my entire clan executed as traitors. It was a lie. They served the Empire with honor. What did you seek to gain with their deaths? You sure you got the right guy? Moff Tyrek. It was his command which authorized the execution. It's not really ringing any bells. But my assistant handles most of that sort of paperwork. But, but why did you do it? Why conspire against them? If I get an execution order, I always sign it. Better the wrong men dead than a traitor left alive, right? This cannot be him. Where is the real Moff Tyrak? The sadistic Imperial Puppet Master? Let me get this straight. You've dedicated your life to hunting down a guy who once signed a memo? No, this can't be. My clan deserves vengeance. They must have their names cleared, the blood of their enemies used to purify their dishonorable deaths. Revenge is always unsatisfying. Even if you succeed, you're left with nothing. Can we leave now? I have tickets to the Palawic Opera on Nasha Dar tonight. No! I demand my blood rights. Let him go. With no one to protect him, his own stupidity should kill him off. That is not the Mandalorian way. To leave his punishment to others. With Tyrex intel? The Republic can hurt a lot more Imperials than you can kill yourself. No, you're off to a good start. If 
there was another responsible for the deaths of my clan, then it's him I should be hunting. But perhaps it is a start, perhaps. He knows something that will let me track the true architect of my clan's betrayal. I am not often at a loss for words, but I had not thought where to go once my search ended. Are you looking for an extra gun? I can't offer you a clan, but you have a place with me as long as you want it. And I cannot give you my loyalty. But while I am with you, I will serve you well. I will prove myself by returning this wretch to the Republic. If I refrain from killing him, you know you can trust me. I did not forget my promise of a payment for bringing me the moth. What would you have of me? Just tell the Republic anything you know about the Empire. We'll call it even. As you like. I will wait for you at your ship. My goodness, Captain. It is a relief to see you hale and hearty after everything you've been through. Master Newman, Master Newman, the Captain has returned. Are you sure you're not Balmoran, Captain? I can't name one person who's done more for the Resistance. The Imperials are going nuts about losing the Nebula shipment. I didn't know the Emperor let them use that kind of language. They're not going through your towns and killing every man taller than a vibroblade, right? Uh, they did that already. Luckily, we grow them short and feisty. I just hope the Republic is willing to sell us some of it back. We need those Nebula prototypes. I might be able to arrange that. For a small finder's fee. Oh? Oh, I hear you. <laughs> Senator Dedon is gonna love that. Have your man send me the price. We may not have our planet, but we've got some fat mattresses full of credits, you know? Oh, Master Newman, I just heard a broadcast. The Void Wolf ordered half the top Imperial leadership here executed. It's a good day for the Resistance. Thanks again, Captain. Captain, Senator Dodonna asked me to call you for a progress report. The Republic's hearing plenty about a missing Imperial munition shipment, but nothing's turned up at Palace Air Station. Wait for a big surprise at Port Nowhere. <laughs> I knew you'd go there, Captain. Well, if the Nebula prototypes somehow turn up here, you don't have to worry about them finding good and rich new homes. In the meantime, the Senator wants you to head to Hoth. Frozen ice chunk, off on the outer rim. I don't know the full situation, something about a pirate superweapon, but I'm sure Senator Dodano will brief you when you arrive. Pack warmly. Get back aboard the Wanderlust and keep the engines warm. I'll think of something. If you say so, Captain, but I think it's foolish to wait. I ain't interested in your thoughts, Rustoni. I said be ready to go. Oh, oh, sorry. Didn't hear you sneak up on me. Name's Davin Tan. I'm running a charter for the Republic to get some, uh, special passengers off-world. Speaking of, I could surely use some help. You're smuggling more than refugees and diplomats, aren't you? The Empire's rounding up all the Force sensitives they can find. Anybody too weak to be Sith, they kill. So we're trying to grab them first. Kids, old men, not exactly Jedi Master material. Now, the Empire sent a hunting party after them. Rustoni says he even saw Sith. That doesn't make sense. If these people are so weak, they aren't a threat. And the Empire's out to see they remain that way. But that's why we're trying to move them out of the Empire's reach, or would be if they could get here. I'm more than able to get these folks to their new home, but I need someone to get them past the Empire's goon squad first. Any chance you can do it? The Empire can cast its net wide, but it will find nothing. Enemies surely out for blood, so you'll be careful. Force sensitives are holed up in a research facility not far from here. Guide them back here and keep them safe. You do your part, and I'll get them off planet where the Empire can't reach them. There, ready to go. Just lead the way. Everyone, you're moving out.
I surely gonna hate the sound of your name for a while. That's all the passengers, all right. You got them here safe. I'll get them off world like I promised. I uh, figure I owe you part of my commission for the help, so uh, here you go. I have no need of such things. Well, if you say so. Thanks kindly. Surely there's not enough good folks like you in the galaxy. I owe you one. You ever need something? Look me up. I'll try and settle the score. I told the guardsmen, no unauthorized personnel wandering in. <laughs> so, your commander made Dean's reinforcements. Gotta say, I was hoping for more people. I've heard your name in briefings. Frankly, I don't need a hero right now. To retake the Balmoran Arms Factory, you need a blasted miracle. The Balmoran Resistance sabotaged several Imperial probe droids to spy for them. They said you might find their data useful. Hmm. Interesting. This could help us keep a lid on the Empire's activities. The Imperials have consolidated their remaining forces in a last stand. They're throwing everything they have at Balmoran Arms. We're looking at veteran soldiers, droids, and Imperial tech we've never seen before. Sound like something you could handle? Success is never certain, Colonel. But I'll do whatever I can. I've got two men handling the factory defense. Sergeant Jojims is trying to cut off the Imperials' approach. He could use some assistance. And Major Garrick reported heavy losses after his squad ran into some Imperial... device. Whatever it is, I need it gone. The Empire's got nowhere to go. This time, Balmora will be free. Show me what you can do. Voltesak fek ut azo negre. Piru ege, provid na poje jones. Kot vene atenge razon, igot. Leading the charge is hardly my specialty, but if we can frighten the Empire off, perhaps fewer lives will be lost. Folio semisem, uge nezet ki. Seze meles nehez volt felis merni. Eves tob ere ni as igrit. Get your men ready. They won't have much of a window. Vago ele seges. Le hasak. As igas gato umpa volta kapi. Zun telen zo galat su volt em lekek. Sitting ducks out there. Quarter of my men were killed and all because of defective weapons. It wasn't defective weapons. It was an attack by the Empire. Command is sending new equipment to take care of the problem. By the time new weapons get here, the Empire will own this planet! Maybe it won't come to that. Master Jedi, we have an emergency. Without the Order's help, we may lose Balmora. The Force has brought us together. How can I assist you? The Empire has a prototype weapon called the Neutralizer which puts out an energy field that disables all standard-issue Republic weaponry. Disables? Half of our guns exploded! I know that, Captain. I'm hoping you can sneak behind enemy lines and destroy the Neutralizer's generators. I don't have anyone else. It doesn't sound like we have much time. I'll do whatever I can. The Empire knows the value of that thing, so you'll be up against automated defenses, Imperial troops, and assault droids. But on the plus side, your lightsabers won't be affected. Neither will your other advantages. If you manage to pull this off, leave the cleanup to me. My men are hungry for revenge.
Magu Kala Hajat is Eje. Al Kalma Nak de Sem Mit Sem Higa. Vota Hoje Mar Imlet. Ete Valahol. If it pushes back the Empire, it was time well spent. Magu Legolab. Oza Sakapi Tani Oki Agni. You destroyed the neutralizer. We've already tested our weapons. Everything's back to normal. Now, I can get my men back into battle. It's payback time. And the Empire isn't gonna like our currency. There were some problems, but everything's fine now. You really did save the Republic's hide on this one. The shipment of new weapons was delayed. If you hadn't destroyed that machine, the planet would belong to the Empire. Good work. On behalf of the Republic military, Thank you for your assistance, and for pulling my men's boots out of the fire. The Empire's on the run, and we're about to make our final push into the Balmoran Arms Factory. Balmora's freedom is assured. I'm prepared to call that a victory. The Balmoran Resistance took heavy losses over in Moraine territory. If you could spare anyone to help them out... The Empire hit civilians, huh? I'll see who I can send. Commander Maydeen sends his compliments on helping ensure the planet's security and the safety of the Balmoran people. I second that. I've got to get back to chasing Imperial scum. Oh, and a Gabe Devaro from the Resistance wants to speak to you in Bugtown. I will speak to him. Good hunting. I almost feel sorry for the imps. When I asked you to help, I didn't know what I was throwing at them. And word is you even took down Lord Thorsis. I don't know whether to shake your hand or run for cover. Thank you. For everyone you saved, I... I was wrong about you. It's good to see you really care about saving Balmora. Once Ty's request for Republic membership is approved, entire armies will protect your people. Gabe Devaro, Republic citizen. <laughs> That'll take some getting used to. We'll see every Imperial soldier thrown off-world, I promise you. Maybe share a few of our tricks with the Republic military. Here, take this with you. You've more than earned it. Whatever happens, you'll always have friends on Balmora. A remarkable achievement. Balmora couldn't ask for a better leader. Here, Jedi. I'll authorize Ty's request for Republic membership. Hey, Ty. You'd better get started on an heir. Presidents have heirs, right? You know, Nadia, I'm really going to miss you. Jedi has what she wanted, Ty. Balmora and the Republic. Now I want a seat in your government. It's the least you owe him. I'm sorry, Zenith. You've proved your loyalty, but I won't have you in my government. To truly free Balmora, we must purge the ideas the Empire forced on us. You've learned too much from them. That's not what you said when you needed Zenith's followers to die for you. You become president. My men get unmarked graves. I can compromise. I need a liaison between Balmora and the Rift Alliance, and a berth here just opened up. You'll have political pull and input on my decisions, just not on Balmora. Is that acceptable? Hmm. Jedi keeps a long view, makes tough choices. Might work. You shoot anyone without my order, and there will be trouble. Think the Rebellion's out of my system. I've ordered thousands of new battle droids for the Republic. I'll stay in touch over Holo. Balmora is waiting. I, and my planet, will never forget what you both did. Thank you. My apologies, everyone. Could you excuse us for a moment? Jedi, I found something under our communications array. Look. I don't recognize that. Did Theron install it? The Republic database says it's an Imperial monitoring device. Only someone on board would know where to plant it, right? If someone was plotting against us, I would feel it. Maybe, but I thought you should know. It deactivated itself when I picked it up, so it's safe now. That, uh, isn't our only concern. I'd better keep this brief. What do you know of a world called Quesh? Far too little, I'm afraid. 
Quesh is a contested planet, simply overflowing with valuable chemicals. So the Rift Alliance built a research facility there, Attis Station. The station has developed amazing healing technology, some new weapons too. But they've dropped out of contact, and Imperial troops were sighted nearby. The others didn't want you to know. I hoped I'd proven myself by helping Balmora. Unfortunately, their we've been neglected attitude is hard to shake off. Attis Station houses the Rift Alliance's finest minds, and the technology and weapons they've developed mustn't fall into Imperial hands. You know what happened? What was the situation before Attis Station went silent? They sent a routine update, then we heard Imperial soldiers were in the area. Nothing more. We'll find out when we arrive, won't we, Jedi? We? Young lady, you are not setting foot on Quest. It's far too dangerous. But father, Ada Station was built with our world's technology. If someone's using the defenses, I can get inside. If anything happened to you, I'd never forgive myself. You won't have to protect me. Promise. Just focus on saving the station and our scientists. As you wish, Nadia. Apparently responsibility is a lesson you don't need. Then it's settled. Once you're on Koesh's surface, I'll catch up with you. If our station's even scratched, I'll teach those Imperials a lesson.